Ray Yohi, a 92-year-old World War II fighter pilot, entered a cockpit again after many years on the ground. He was just reminiscing about flying and how much, how he'd like, he couldn't do anything else. He's just gotten so old that he, he just wasn't able to do much. And he just was reminiscing about just maybe flying an airplane maybe one more time, said he didn't want to take off or land. Yohi left the Air Force as a major after being wounded for a second time on his 62nd mission protecting U.S. bombers. I got hit in the leg and the bullet, whatever it was, went up and evidently ricocheted, up, ricocheted off my hip bone and went across and lodged itself on the other side. Oh my God. When I got that wound, I was over to Germany. The English Channel isn't very wide, we crossed that. I came in for a landing, I didn't know this at the time. I came in for a landing and I had forgotten to put down my landing gear. I had bled so damn much I wasn't thinking very good. Right. And uh, so I landed without the landing gear. And the airplane slid along through the mud. Finally something dug in and flipped over on its back and they pulled me out of that. Doug Medora flew with Yogi on this run in a two-seat T-6 training plane. My father was a uh, World War II pilot also, sure. and uh, um, he just recently just went into a nursing home, so I figured, you know, this is a good opportunity to go ahead and take up another veteran and sure. have him enjoy it. Yo, he said he wanted to fly one more time because it is the best feeling in the world. Because flying is the greatest damn thing you can do no, in this world. There's nothing else in the, that I've ever encountered in the world that equals flying. From the Hemet Ryan Airport, this is Jennifer Whitaker with the Press Enterprise and PE.com.